So this is going to be a video on putting page redirect links into your blend for web application. It is also going to be a introduction to the node logic editor. So that's a really cool feature that uh, it, there's a lot more to learn on that, but this will be an introduction to that since we're going to use that. So as you can see here, I've got my default um, scene here and I've added a few items but I have done nothing else so if we go ahead and export this and take a look at it and here it is right here so it's just a simple scene there's nothing else going on here and what we're going to do is attach page redirect links to these objects. So first we're going to need a node logic editor. So we'll come down here and change that into the, uh, where is it? Node editor right here. And uh, let's see, first of all, let's make sure we're on uh, Blender for web there and we need to come down here and uh, there are more than one type of node editor that you can be playing with. So we need to make sure we're on the right one. So we'll select this one right here. And we're going to, let's see, I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and create a new node tree. And so that is our basic node tree there. And I think, we, let's see, let's come over here and uh, to our, to the scene editor. And we're going to put, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a check mark in logic editor. And we're going to add the, the default a logic node tree that loads. Let me make sure we're on the same one. Uh, make sure we're on the same one here. There we go. Uh, now there's already one node loaded in here when we start up. And uh, you can grab it and move it around. And what this is, it doesn't do anything except for say uh, start. It's like uh, it's like initiating a listener device that says, okay, it's uh, we're now listening for a uh, cross-platform click or touch event and once that occurs uh, we'll go on to the next step and what we'll go is let's see next we will go to add and we will add a logic node and we're going to do a um, let's see we need select and play select, uh, select and jump that's what uh, We'll use one of these to tie an object to the event. So let's go ahead and put that in. And now I'm going to go ahead and do Shift A for, to, as a shortcut for what I just did. And I'm going to do a page redirect. Do, 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 where is it? There it is. Page redirect. And we're going to put it here like this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the object in the scene that I want this to be attached to. So I, I'll just come here and by the way, you can rename these. If you come over to, uh, if you come over here to, here to your list of objects that you have in your scene in the outliner. Um, and so right now they're named the default names that they were loaded with. You can change these names to something more descriptive for your scene, but we'll just leave them like they are for now. So I am going to make this link attached to my torus. And when you load these page redirects, it comes with the default blendforweb.com website, which for the purposes of our demonstration will be just fine. So we're going to take our entry point and start it off and go into our touch event. And if that cube, that torus gets hit, we are going to go to that website. Now to uh, go ahead and add more objects into it, I'm going to select that and shift select that and shift duplicate and shift duplicate like that. And I'm going to go ahead and change the torus to the cube. What else do I have there? Okay. Camera cone cube lamp torus. Okay. So we'll leave that as a cube and I'll change this one to the cone. And the way this logic works is uh, a touch event happens here. Something happens or, or a click event happens and it's going to come here and say, well, did it hit the torus? If yes, it goes to that, it goes to that URL. If no, it's going to say, well, then 
did it hit the cone? If yes, it's going to go to that website. And if it misses, it's going to say, no, it didn't do that. And then it's going to say, well, in that case, did it? Oh, I have the cone up twice. This one should, oh, cube cone, I get it. So, um, and then if, if so, that's a, if that's a miss, it's going to go to the cone. And then if this is a miss, it's going to start over. So I'm going to, I'm going to hit shift A and hit a layout and I'm going to add a reroute right here. And I'm going to uh, shift D to duplicate that to put another one down there. And so what we're going to do is start over. So if, if a click event happened and none of these things gets hit, then it's going to say, okay, nothing got hit, start over and wait for another event. So we'll go ahead and reroute it to here and start over again. And that is the complete um, node tree to set up three links in your scene. So let's try it and see if it works. We'll go file, export, HTML, and then we will bring up our scene and refresh it and see if we go to the blend for web page. There we go. And so that is how it works. Now, that being said, this isn't really complete because in my opinion, it's probably going to be kind of too plain to have something just be clicked and go to a web page. I think there needs to be an animation or some kind of visual feedback so that as soon as it's clicked, it does something very quickly to let the user know that they have actually clicked on an interactable object. And so I'm going to be getting into that further. There are some things you can do with animations and there are a number of other node possibilities here. Um, very quickly, I'll, I'll bring up some of the other possibilities. You have math operations, um, show and hide objects. You can do conditional uh, tests and, um, you know, using a combination of, of these different node objects, you can accomplish quite a bit. So for one of them would be to play a short animation. So that's going to be something uh, I have on my agenda to, uh, I'll probably do maybe a part two on this where we will go ahead and add a, a very quick animation or some kind of um, maybe even a sound event, you know, like the good old days of Flash when you clicked on something and made a nice sound or something like that. So that should get you going with links in your Blend for Web projects and it also introduces you to using the node logic editing in, in Blend for Web.